Hi everyone, John here again. Today we're going to explain the um, functionality and the purpose of all the caster wheels and safety distance wheels and tilt wheels on all of our machines, um, in uh, the bus machines, truck machines, and um, it doesn't matter what year, from our earliest machines to our current machines. The same procedure, the same wheels go on, everything is the same. We're going to talk about tools to use, um, some of the different type of axles that are in place as time moves along, and, um, and that's what we're going to do. The first one I'm going to do is describe to you about our safety distance wheels. These are wheels that are pneumatic, they're inflated, there's a air, uh, uh, a Schrader fitting here for pumping them up. And basically the procedure for changing these is very simple. On the bottom of each one of these machines, on each one of these wheels, is a cotter pin that holds this thing from coming out. Basically it's as simple as removing that cotter pin, lifting the axle, sliding the wheel in place, dropping the axle, putting your cotter pin back in. Very simple, very quick. Over time, these wheels, which are used to protect the vehicle, when, you, when you're working with a machine like this, and I'll give you a, just a really very quick demonstration, you're operating from this side. If you move the machine this way, this wheel can bump. You can see this wheel. But take a look at that one. Often you want to move it away from the vehicle, and you move it like this, bang. The machine could bump the vehicle. These wheels should be inflated, so you should check them on a regular basis. And if they're left uninflated, they actually begin to rot over time, and they actually don't do any, any um, um, don't give your vehicle any protection anymore. So it's very important to pay attention to these. They're very close by, they're easy to see. Every, every week, just check and see if there's air in them. If there isn't, just give them a little bit of air. It tells you right on here how much, it'll, let, it'll take up to 36 PSI. So just pump them up and away you go. Incidentally everyone, one thing that I want to point out to you, in the past decade of my working on these machines and doing service on them, one of the things I've found is that over time people will damage the safety distance wheel brackets. Um, I've seen these um, um, bent right back and quite badly damaged. Um, so over the years, there's been some changes in the in the in the, the safety distance wheel systems. Um, the new axles are like this; they're a one-piece unit welded with a with the washer on top, so they just drop right in. The new ones, or the old ones, were this style, where there was a separate washer. Um, that over the years has been um, frustrating at times if you're. If you're working in a wash bay and you take it off and for some reason you drop this, uh, this washer, which is a metric washer, will end up in the drains. I'm sure you've all dropped stuff in the drains before and you know what that's like, fishing, trying to fish that stuff out of there. That's really dirty. <clears throat> so um, we've upgraded them. This is the old style. This is the new style. And um, we have all these replacement parts for you.